This podcast is a Digital Diamond Network production. <laughs> Yo, this is Supermax Hernandez, and you're listening to Just to Jobbers. Boom. Cheer. <laughs> we back. That's Jay Bezos over there. That's Mason Cross to my left. Yeah, yeah, and we about to drop some of this wrestling knowledge on y'all. I'm going to take my belt off, hold that shit high real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to leave mine on the table right here. Mm, but now we got no, po- no point bringing it out. Ring, Ring the bell. Ring the blood clot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Digital Diamond Network proudly brings to you its World Heavyweight Tag Team Podcast Champions, Champions of, of the World, world. Madman J. Pesos, Bad boy Mason Cross, just two jobbers. And if you're not down with that, we have three, three words, words for you. you. Suck your mother. Well, Woo! she uh, feeling nice. I'm feeling about as high as Episode John Morrison on a SmackDown Friday night. Real talk. <laughs> Sports talk channel homeboy, got me feeling nice. Homeboy was Yo, higher. His, eye, his eyes oh, were pinholes. Higher than a muh. Yeah, his eyes were pinned. This dude looked like he... W- how many times did he fuck up that promo and yeah, just was, start laughing? Yeah, Yo, beyond laughing. watching uh, the first time seeing him, now you watch the first time he actually supposed to cut a promo. Yeah. The man... I'm telling you, there's something wrong. The man was high. You can't tell me that... That was cocaine. <laughs> that was hair on. That, was, that was some other shit. I don't hey, know. Hey, speaking of cocaine, Bobby Roode's back. Oh! <laughs> boom, boom, shh. <laughs> Damn, that wellness policy fucking suspension isn't too long, eh? It or is it gone not, like two weeks? It was, no, it was a month. I think oh, it was, it was a month. 30 days. He was gone 30 days. He month. got suspended. He got caught but, shipping cocaine or something. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what. But, yo, I got to say, days gone. Being, being high as shit. John Morrison landed that side flip, though. Nice. He yeah. connected with Big Yeah, e man. John Morrison. And like, then landed yeah, that shit. Yeah, How he the, killed it. If like, he was I high, am so stoked that John Morrison. I'm back. happy. He's just don't let him. Be and he's high. back with the Miz too, yes. right? It's dirt gonna be sheet. dope. The dirt and their sheet. heels. On top of that, they yes. think it's his heels. Bring back the dirt know? sheet. Turn the yeah, Miz exactly. TV back into the dirt sheet and let these guys keep talking. Yeah, exactly. Um, dope. I am feeling the Bray Wyatt all the way. Uh, the Firefly of Hunters is starting to lose its luster. I was going to ask but you that. What is your thoughts on the, it's losing the its Firefly Funhouse? Because to me, it's kind of, yeah, you're right, 100%. It's losing its luster. Honestly, it's losing it would have been its better. Yes, you know it, what I mean? it would have been better if he would have came out. Like, okay, yeah, you did your eight episodes. He did his eight episodes, and then he had his matches, The Fiend. And then the next time we've seen him as Bray Wyatt, like Mr. Rogers Bray Wyatt, yeah. should have been live. But he still did the Firefly Fun House, and then he finally performed live against yeah. The Miz. But I think it took too long for us to see that in person. Exactly. Like, I know we couldn't bring out the puppets and all that. It would look weird. We'd it see all the weird. setup. Yeah, of course. We'd see the setup. We'd know what's up, right? But... To, but he still should have came out, like, even cut promos like that. Yeah, and 100%. It's just, to me, that's why it's like, I've seen this show before. I've seen the Firefly Fun House. I've he seen can't it before. do much it's... more that's going to be like, wow, he's yeah. got the puppets. He killed the puppets before. He killed the puppet again. He yeah. sent it to Daniel Bryan. It's like, okay, well, you've already done this before. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? It's starting to repeat itself. It's starting to, like... It is. It is. It's 100%. And I get it. You change people. You do whatever. You change them back to who they were. It's fine. But, like, you're... St- the, the Fiend is always going to be over because of course, that's the dope. Fiend. That's the best character now, in wrestling. Now, now. he has to keep, it with that. He has to keep Mr. Wyatt Bray Wyatt He over. does. He needs to come out. He, he needs to, to wrestle. Yeah. He needs to show his face yes. in the ring, right? Yes. And, and, and let people see that he's really two different people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because right now he's yeah. basically just a bunch of videos. So I'm not really digging the Firefly Funhouse itself. The storyline, Bray yes. Wyatt, the storyline, yes. Yes, 100. Yeah. But uh, what I am digging, though, is did heavy machinery just turn heel? Did they turn heel or is, this, or is Mandy, Mandy Rose turning, turning face? Yeah, because I don't know. Well, they were she was facing a face when yeah, heavy machinery. She was came. facing a face when heavy machinery came yeah. out, but in backstage she was doing basically face tactics, yeah. right? But yeah. then they came out and they won by heel tactics. It is so it's that true. is so, smart booking because the audience, us, we don't know. I don't know which way they're switching because we know they're going to switch because I, eventually. I, She's going to go with Otis. I like this right? story for the simple fact that it's like, Otis is going to get the girl. 
Exactly. You know what I mean? I hope she he doesn't. Gonna get I hope she doesn't like this Vince switch it and turn it into some like, oh, uh, you're going to break his heart and blah, blah, blah. No. Let Otis get the girl. Let them run. That'll be the most weirdest combo since like yeah, Bam exactly. Bam and Luna. Hell yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. and just let them run with it because honestly, that's a cool little thing to do for honestly the kids that look like Otis. Yeah. Real 100%. Talk. Real talk. What about yeah. the kids that look like Otis? Oh, exactly. You know what I mean? And the ones that are watching is like, yeah, let Otis get the girl with his bullshit. Take exactly. It. Take it, take it. Take him and they rose hey, it. Take it, take it. Wait till he starts <laughs> making up fucking nicknames for her and shit. Hey, right? Man, they rose it. Hey. <laughs> man, no jokes, man. Real no, jokes, it's a good though. Real line. talk, though. Let let it happen. Fucking digging SmackDown right now. I am. I'm I am. I also. Sure. I, I, I'm coining the phrase. I'm loving bitch Bailey. If you don't like me yeah, saying man, that, Bailey's too fucking bad. Bitch Bailey yeah, is yeah, Bailey. Bitch, bitch ba- Bailey. We should have had that bitch years ago. Years ago. But I Straight do not like. The fact that Lacey Evans no sold getting her head banged off a yeah, fucking what thing for like yo she got her head banged off the side the crate like nine ten times and then just, and gets, just up. gets up and one right she's a marine her, I get it but it's like are you just the new female Hulk Hogan you're doing the salutes and the whole yeah. America that's one thing that was bugging me it's like okay she's right. killing it as a face she's over as fuck Russian me face. she's using. She's using her military background as a crutch. And way I understand too much. that. And there's this way whole too shit much. going she's, on. She's fucking saluting every 35 yeah. seconds in the ring, bro. And there's this whole shit going on in the US and with the military. We all know about that's a different podcast, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? But we all know that that's kind of why they're putting her over yeah. at the which moment. Which is fine. Which is fine. I it's get just, it. Patriotism is real. <laughs> don't basically like overuse it you know what i yeah. mean and just let her just win and every time she's cutting a promo she does not need to stop and soak up the crowd oh, yes yes thank you thank you and then like right? mid sentence stop yeah, exactly. and, and then soaks she up the adulation again. of the crowd and then yeah. she start just just cut the promo like people know that you're they're cheering for you you don't yeah. and they know you're thankful like yeah. 100 100 but outside from that Lacey evans yeah, good, applaud good you. shit, good job, real talk. And Strowman in the IC picture is a good thing too. I like that because it's building. He bi- deserves a belt. Builds, he does. Yes, he deserves an actual belt, I, not I, not fucking yes, whatever the tag titles or the. Tenure. I said in 2018 that I want Strowman to be the champion sometime. But of then course, he, yeah. then he cut that promo and then against he cut Brock Lesnar, and I was like, when ah, he's maybe the not. words before he's yeah. saying them, like, bro, you're on live TV. You real, know that, right? Like, we real can talk. see you. We can see you. Yeah, and it's like, I don't what know. are you doing? I just think it gives them. It's time to just, it because they destroyed Strowman. Like real talk. Yeah, like because there's nobody on the roster should be able to be doing to that man what people do to that man. Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like we, we're gonna actually talk about Strowman for a minute because I was watching him and I went back and I jumped on the network and I was like, I watched his Wyatt family debut and I was like, yo. Like they had something, they and then did, I watched, man. and then I watched them break, break, him, break him off of the Wyatt family, and yo, man, Strowman, they did you dirty. They because did, it's man. like, and it was, of course, it was Brock Lesnar who did it. Like Brock Lesnar <laughs> threw the man no, around. Brock, really? You know what I mean? And it's like it's not his crushing somebody's gimmick. Brock, the man no. threw the man around, and, and I, I can't say that. Like Roman made the man look invincible. When him and Roman were warring and the man pushed him off. Of oh, fucking, yeah, man. When he's or, like tipping fucking. Tipping shit over like, and running him in the shit, semi. Throwing him in dumpsters, like Yo, crushing him. Oh, trust like, me. Guy's a murderer. <laughs> yes, he literally is. And like he's a monster among men. Among men, yeah. And there's nobody that. Could fuck with him. Yeah, you know, nobody. And, nobody and could they touch let, him. And they let Brock Lesnar do it and they let him take too many pins. Yeah. Not too many clean losses. Yeah. And now, now you can put him in the IC title picture. And build him again. Build him Shinsuke up because he'll be the IC and, champ for a while. Yep. And then he'll lose and, that. And then they can put him in the main title. And because here's again. the thing. Because he's good. Yeah. And he's he can good. he can build that title. I thought Shinsuke having it when he won it was gonna be some shit. Like, yes, finally. No, it was and then, dope. And yeah. then like what is Sam Sami Zayn's Sami Zayn is kind of like Yeah. Yeah, he's he's there because they have nothing else for him to do. I'm listening to Bear or uh Corey Graves. Repeatedly attempt to say Sammy Gr- Zayn's group is so dangerous. How are they, they put dangerous? A, what they, get they crushed every shit. week. They don't win two on ones. They don't win one on ones. They, they don't, don't win, win anything. All, it, how are they so dangerous? <laughs> yeah. They are, but how? But they're yeah. not. Like <laughs> it's true. Facts. It's, it's wrong. Like and you know SmackDown. You guys are like we. 
I just don't Speaking know. Speaking of going. Corey Graves, yeah. fuck, I used to big this guy up so hard. Now it's like he shook. Yeah, <laughs> I think he shook. Like honestly, once you find out somebody's persona outside of their character yep. on TV, and you realize that person is not a very nice person in real life, it's yeah. like. Honestly, like, I used to big this guy up hard. Like, yo, he's the best announcer yeah. of our generation Real and blah, top. blah. He's not, man. He's not really that good. And to be honest, now that he knows that, now that I know he's kind of a horrible human being. Yes. I'm not really on the Corey Graves I train anymore. I can't be on I that. think Mauro should get called up to SmackDown. Yes. And he should send Corey back to fucking NXT. Yeah, but I don't think Mauro will be handled. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think he can handle the road I don't think the road he can handle the road. It's just I don't a, think he can handle fucking Vince yelling in his ear. Yeah, no. I don't think he can handle it. Triple H knows how to talk. And who, it's not even really Triple H, isn't it? No, Sean's running NXT uh, UK. So, like, it's weird. Like, I don't know who's on the mic in his ear uh, on NXT, but that person obviously has a way to talk to him to let him know that, yo, say that. But really, do you have to say anything tomorrow? No, yeah, like, you don't. The guy's like, one of the he best, doesn't need best Vince announcers in his ear. of all time, let alone our generation. Thank you. And this of guy all time, came out of nowhere. Like, like yeah. you know what I mean? He's not Gordon Soley. He's not He's not Gorilla Monsoon. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't been around. He's been in combat sports a long time. Yeah. But as for calling wrestling on a, a live television broadcast or stage like that, yeah. no. Nah. Like, where, where did he come from? And he's... Magic, like the man calls Mayweather and, and McGregor. He calls this. He calls that. Like, right? Jeez, no. the man's magic. Um, King Corbin, Kentucky needs to be a T-shirt though. That that, that was funny. Like, that had that, me rolling. That's that the is one a, thing. such a genius idea. <laughs> You're going to Corbin, Kentucky to yeah. do a show, yeah. <laughs> and you put out a petition. To, to change ch- the name of the city <laughs> to, to King. King Corbin. <laughs> and what's even funnier yeah. is this petition is getting signatures. It's getting Imagine steep. if it gets changed to King Corbin. <laughs> I will love it. And that, it was, that would be I've, awesome. I've that would been, be awesome. I've been, as much yeah. as I despise Corbin, you know what I mean? How much TV time he gets because yeah. I don't think he deserves to be where he is quite yet. Yeah. But that would be awesome. But he is... He, he he's a great be heel, in, though. He, yes, like, yes, he's, he's a good heel, but I find he's on TV for way too long. Way too long. Like, <laughs> he's he's basically being carried to the ring by six guys, and he's got two excellent wrestlers who could be top guys if yeah. they were given the chance. Yeah. And he's ordering them around. He's making them look like his lackeys. You know yeah. what I mean? Which I don't think is basically he's earned that yet. No. Yeah, like, in my opinion, as a fan, I don't think in ring he's that good. I don't think on the mic he's that good yet. Yeah. But Vince McMahon sees something in him, and yeah, I guess I, you gotta live with it. I, I understand it. Like, I kind of I kind of get it. Um, but I just think that when I, I, like, look back at Corbin, I was like, they need to let him be, like, that whole, I don't know, man. There's ways, to, like, I look back at his NXT run, and I was like, oh, my God, like, they wasted this. They fucking waste. Yeah, there's it. so many guys from NXT he's good. They waste though, he's right? He's good. If Corbin is good, he's great, but it's like this character I don't know. Yeah, he's just been so many characters. It's so hard to take him like seriously, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know what the hell, man. Like he's at a, You know what's funny about that though? Even with his cousins, Roman still gets beat down. He still does, yeah. Like I how are you how is it? Vince has this fucking idea in his head? That uh, baby faces need to get beat up. Need to get beat up. Beat no, up, beat don't. up. And then they overcome the controversy. And, it's like, and then oh. they get the support of the fans because they keep getting picked on. And I don't, you know what I mean? It's I a whole fucking under, yeah, I don't, like, dog underdog story. Right? story. I don't, it's an underdog story. I'm not a big fan of doing that. And it's like SmackDown as a whole to me this week was like not that great. Like, it wasn't... I don't know. It was it, okay, man. Match-wise, for sure. Like, there was some good shit in there. But, like, the way they ended, like, the Corbin thing, like, the no selling of, like, Lacey Evans getting that ass whooped backstage. Yeah. And then getting, like... There were certain things to it that just threw it off. SmackDown is normally, like... It stays. It, I want to say it's fire, but it's consistent yeah. more than raw, at least. Like oh, raw, yeah, of course, raw forgets raw so up and down. Yeah, around, it forgets right? shit like, that happened last week. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it's crazy. So it's like I, I don't even know like what's gonna go on here with when it comes to SmackDown. But they need to figure out a way to fix this entire shit. 
But uh, you know what I'm saying? I think it's about time we get off here and uh, pay some bills. And what we're going to do is... uh, Hear a word from our sponsors. Yes, we are. So we will be right back. Yeah. And we're back. Back. Bills paid. Electricity ain't cut off. We still doing it. Get it. <laughs> Yo, so uh, jump into some news here. Tell these people what's going on. So our Ring of Honor has offered Marty Skrull some like WWE Woo. main roster money. Some main roster money for Ring of Honor. 40 dates. I would have thought you could have bought Ring of Honor with main roster money, but okay. Main roster um, money's not that big, though. <laughs> I know. I'm but it's joking. like Kofi made two hundred grand a year for being like you know the yeah, hottest thing. He probably thing. makes more off that like merch, though, right? Yeah, like, like Leo Rush. Like, do they really make off merch? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. some of them they get a little percentage, a little cut. But uh, honestly, do you, main ro- to work forty dates a year. There's that's, that's not even once a week. That's insane. How? How could he turn that down? No, like, like how? Can how he? could he turn that down? Because you can't, you, you can't beat that. 40, you can't beat that. Because if you like, got forty dates and you're making, let's say, two hundred thousand a year. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? And That's you're the like, top guy. And you're not the top like, guy. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not like Brock Lesnar making a one point five a year or whatever the fucking case may be. And he's not even there. But you're like, you know, it's uh, yeah. Uh, is this a waste of money? Okay, here, here's my question. Where do you think he would be best suited? Honestly, right now in wrestling, and you're going to think, this is going to be fucking hilarious when I say this, but um, where he would be best suited right now? Yes. Where and, ba- ba- basically he can succeed the most, whether it be Ring of Honor, WWE, AEW, New Japan. I think I think number one, the first place would be NXT. He would first place is NXT as a face. But the only way, I don't want to say the only way, the way I could see this coming as a face was the way is if they bring villain enterprises with him. Yes, to they take have to. out the and undisputed see, that's era. Exactly, because that's the only way yeah. I can see him becoming a huge, huge yes. star within WWE. And don't move him is, from there. Is basically if he brings the villain club yes. with him. Yes. Because I'm telling you, if that comes into... Comes yes. to NXT and he takes down yeah. undisputed. But so, could but could could WWE handle? Please, could Ninja, WWE, please. But could WWE handle PCO? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like could they that's handle not, Brody that's King? The thing. Flip Gordon, yes. You know, flip. Oh does, man, imagine but, oh, yeah. NXT. Oh, so oh, that'd be dope. Like if the music just hits and these guys come out, that'd be yeah. disgusting. But in all reality, like yeah, I, I don't know. I think and then my second choice. Would definitely be AEW. Of course, because all his buddies are there. Exactly. But then that's that's like so predictable. But he'd have to, to go to AEW as a heel. Yeah, but that's, but here's the thing with AEW. He wouldn't be on TV like all the time. Like No, no. And which do which is which is the him. one thing we said on Wednesday. What sucks about AEW is that Guys don't get enough TV time because it's the same five people all the time. Maybe that. maybe he might be a part of those people. Yeah. But I couldn't see him and his whole crew being a part of those, yeah, those, those exactly. five elite guys and who that, are always on and, TV. And right? that's why so I say. He's going to get buried. So and, why would he not go to ROH and work? The, other, the workaround days? to that would be for him. See, they'd have, they'd have to bring it in slowly. He'd have to be the the heel, the heel faction with villain enterprises. As and well. he goes against the elite. And he takes out Cody. Then he takes out. Then See, you know what that I mean? would be because dope. you left me over there. Exactly. We were gonna do this. You together. left me behind. Yeah, we were gonna That's do a this. Perfect storyline yeah. into it. Actually. Exactly. It's like you know what I mean. Like watch being the elite. The very beginning of being the elite. There's freaking a uh, train ride era, a roller coaster. And I don't know if it's the Young Bucks on and Kenny on the train, but it's an 8-bit segment, and the train takes off. And coming out of the sky is a little 8-bit picture of Marty Skrull floating with his, and then it the t- yeah. takes off and he misses it. Oh, shit. That's the, ver- that's the opening credits to being the elite. Really, eh? Yeah. Oh, like, shit. So it's like you missed the boat. And it's like, use that. Yeah. Now you 
I was going to say the mf but I'm going to have to check myself on that. <laughs> now you bastards is fucking, <laughs> now you bastards, you bastards. Is, is fucking have this big company and you left me behind. I came floating down in my umbrella and you <laughs> Exactly. No, real fuck tough. you and I brought my crew and we're going to yeah. run shit all over yep. AEW. And you know what? It, and that you know, would be cool. But unfortunately, I don't think they would do that because they already have... Basically, factions fighting factions. You this got the inner true. circle already trying to take out the elite. You got Dark Order already yeah. trying to take out the elite. Yeah. There's already so many stories yeah, in your mind. It would just be confusing. Who's yeah. this other gothic crew coming through? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, they need to, re- and they just, it's, I don't know. But honestly, now he's in power doing his thing over there yeah, in NWA. Yeah. And, uh, I don't see, but that's another thing about powers because there's so many people that come in and out, in and out that they can't that garner the, any like yeah. to maintain his presence as like Nick Aldis is probably the only guy on TV yeah, every single week, every single week, Nick and Aldis, maybe yeah. not even every week. He miss a week here, or a week there, but he's on vacation. He's, or something. You know what I mean? But it's like you can't. They have they have a big roster for such a small little. What's yeah. going on? There's so many people that they have to put Kennedy on TV or Anderson. They got to put uh, Eli Drake on TV. Yeah. They got to put fucking. Uh, oh, they got some big names. Yeah, there, eh? they they got to put uh, Damian big names Damian there. Sandow on TV. Yeah, right. He's there they, too. They, yeah. I used to love Damian yeah, Sandow. They gotta he put, was so dope, man. Like, and he's just a straight character now. Like just a really? straight gimmick. Like all the 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 Miz the the Miz thing and the impersonation. Yeah. It's a whole other level now. Really? Eh? It's a whole Fuck, other I'm level. Not gonna lie. I'm going to start checking yeah, NWA it's, out, man. Yeah, and it's like... Actually, Vex told me. Yeah. Vex told me. He's like, yo, check it out, dog. I'm telling you. And I, it's like... The I'm real... actually going to check it, man. Because yeah. Eli Drake, dope. Yo, trust you know me. I mean? and it's All like, those guys you said are dope. Nick Aldis, dope. Yeah. David Sandow, dope. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Uh, Kennedy, even... dope. Kennedy! Yeah. You know what I mean? Come and on, dog. Like, That's just dope, guys. And it's like all of those... People are over there, so he would get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, he totally would. Revolving stars at yeah. NWA. You know fair, what I'm saying? That's fair. fair um, fair. Ring of Honor, y'all in trouble. So uh, TNA, TNA, uh, Impact, whatever. TNA. In, well, no, don't say that. People are <laughs> yeah, signing. That's true. People like are you know what I mean. There. Like, and the as thing much is, as I fucking laugh at that, TNA, it's that would be it's number three. Actually, a pretty dope. Promotion that would probably as be well, right? that for him to be. Th- what he wants to be in for hit to work for his career, that would probably be number three place for him yeah. to go. Oh, yeah. In all reality. Yeah. Um, New Japan, he'd just be another Gaijin heel or he'd just be another American that they love. Yeah. And it's just lost in the shuffle of the yeah. Jay Whites or the Kenny Omegas. And yes, Kenny managed to do something with it, but it's kind of like rare, they yeah. look at it where you came up under Kenny. Yeah, so exactly. it's like it's 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 different, man. Yeah, like, you like Kenny 2.0, basically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm sure um, he does not want. Yeah, does not want to be Kenny 2.0. Um, since we're on the subject of factions, and we brought up the Dark Order just now, um, Matt Hardy is apparently set to be the leader of the Dark Order. Oh, that would be sick! In, because apparently... With the whole wonderful, that yeah. did you notice that yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what was his name? Uh, Eva Uno was using wonderful certain phrases that Matt Hardy uses. Really? And I didn't catch that. Matt Hardy's contract situation yeah, is it's up in what March, right? Yeah. So, so okay, so he's his contract's up in March, and he's got a three month no compete clause, right? Yeah. So well, basically, no compete clause. Well, no, not means- if not if you let your contract expire, because Dean Ambrose. His contract expired. Man. That's right, and he went I, right you back. You can go. Out. I think. I think if you're released from, or therefore fired, or oh, something, yeah, yeah. Then, then it's, it's a like three month no. Yeah, no, or you quit, no compete, and then we'll just freeze your contract, and yeah. then a three month. You're like, yeah, but um, I think with this situation, it would be best for Matt Hardy to do that because yeah just to be the whole and woken like, yeah. universe broken universe it's, yeah it wouldn't is, be woken again it'd yeah, be back to broken, broken because that was gold and vince did not oh yeah it was and not vince capitalized on weird. that you'd rather have lesbian angles like and it's like guys so fucked up talk. man it's like between, dude the shit's like 
Like early '90s shit, where between we him like and him, and I don't like know who's the bigger like pervert. Shaving each other's backs and shit like that. It's like, yeah, that shit was funny when I was 12. Yeah, bro, I'm not 12. I'm 36, and you know by the ratings and the viewership that we, the guys, are watching it. Yeah. So why you got revival shaving each other's back or whatever, putting itchy powder in their jocker? Yeah. Whatever the stupid prank. Yeah. Vince, the Hulk Vince is in the shit. back. You know he's just like ha ha ha. Killing him. Look at that. That is good shit angle. right there. Blah, blah, blah. But you get absolute gold that literally put, put TNA and you, back on the yes, map. And you with won this the character lawsuit. character in this storyline. He owns it. But, and, and the man owns it because he won the, the, the you lawsuit. Know, and you're, you're not even taking advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? You could have made so much money. Instead, you made it woken and it's so watered down. You don't even want to watch it. Yeah. Like, it's like, no wonder the guy is back to the mid cards within. You Real know time. what I mean? Like, and it's like, they had the gold there. Like, they had the. When they put him and Wyatt together, that was the perfect time for them to break up like he did. Same thing happens. The exact same thing happens. Throw him in the lake of reincarnation or whatever exactly. it was called. Exactly. And the man comes back as this Bray Wyatt. As this Bray Wyatt. This that, Bray that Wyatt. Been dope. And then it's broken Matt Hardy versus the fucking Fiend in a Firefly Funhouse death match at the compound. Right? With exactly. Some What's wrong with these people? Yeah, like it like, writes itself. Spitting you know on the I mean? mic. I'm excited over this shit because I am. I wrote that just now in front well, of you. Well, of course, but it's that easy. But like, <laughs> unfortunately, I guess fucking Vince is like a tyrant and it's like he like rips up scripts at the last minute at and the- blah, blah, blah. But it's like there's so much easy stories you can write. And this is just. Two guys sitting here on some microphones talking off the top of red, freestyling stories that are better than anything you've had all year. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, mm-hmm. that's, that is the sad reality. Yeah. I'm getting dabs in the studio because I just spoke the hashtag truth. You the know what I mean? But it's true. Fuck. We're sitting here spitting freestyle off the top of our domes, coming up with yeah. better shit that guys I, I get literally. paid for. They do for it for a living. Yeah. They get Man's paid. Is, they get to travel with car WWE. Notes off of this shit. Man's just paying rent off of this. Exactly. And I'm not? <laughs> get exactly. the fuck out of here. Right? Like, get out of here. You know what I mean? Because it's I, not that hard. I could it's say this scenario. I could have said that scenario to every single wrestling fan I know. Every And they would have been like, why the fuck don't you work for them? Exactly. Or why the fuck don't they do that? Like, because in all reality, you got to think it about it. It writes itself. It writes it's itself. Bray Wyatt has been a genius since day one. Matt Hardy's been a genius since day one. Exactly. You like, know what I mean? Come on, man. And it's like, before before they let him go, that would be the only way. And yes, Matt Hardy at the top of the card right now is kind of weird. But that would be the only way that they could let Matt go out. With a, let him do that and now he'll stay. Exactly. He'll stay. Well, yeah, because he's doing what he wants and to do. And don't call it woke. And he's doing something that makes sense. And here. He's doing something that he would love yep. to do. He's not in it for the money anymore. Yep. Another he's one not. off the top of the head, call him broken. He owns it. Call him broken. Exactly. Why? I tried to wake up, didn't work, now I'm broken. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you, you go. Know, whatever. You can put that make, on a t-shirt. Make some shit. And sign the check out <laughs> to just two jobbers. Yeah. Because, like, Bump. real okay. talk, though. Ah, real there's talk. There's one. Yeah, I said one, unfortunately. Seriously, but that's how though. hype you get me. Seriously, though. Like, it writes itself, and it's it's absolutely infuriating yeah, as fans to that basically we, see these great minds be wasted on 45-year-old men who are in the back writing yeah. lesbian storylines. And it's like, it is you know so what I mean? Paul like, Heyman you're, and you're Vince writing, that it's yeah. not even like... It's like, oh, like... Paul, you did that in ECW with... Kimono, Kimono Wanalea or whatever her name was, and Beulah. Kimono Wanalea. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. He was like the first one to like have like mad like on TV lesbian thing. Like, yeah, yeah. He was one of them. Like, and I'm like, you know what? That was huge. We ain't seen that before. Great. Now it's been done. Um, I don't really care about. Um, Lana's whatever. Yeah. I rather see. I don't care about Lana's. What anything. live more? And simple. I, I care about. about I care anything. about Rusev and Lash. And why aren't Rusev and Lashley having the fish fight? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know. It's the AOP Big show and, and yeah, AOP yeah. and like but whatever. But you know that's a different show. But either way, like that's what gets me excited is stuff like seeing Matt Hardy about to lead the Dark Order, and then it brings yeah, me back that's to dope, what right? you could have done. With, and it's another actual story yeah. on AEW. So 
that's basically two bonuses. Real talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, so it it's just, I don't know. Like, you guys missed. It's a big missed opportunity on Matt Hardy. Another a big missed opportunity. A huge missed opportunity. Yes, he's older. Vince, you don't see in him what the fans obviously well, see Well, the guy's got how many views on YouTube like, on that broken shit? It's, his, it's, his, his shows do Men lie, than, women lie, numbers don't. That's, yeah. that's facts. His, you know his, what I mean? His, so Vince McMahon, like seriously, can yeah. you can like XFL start already? So you already? can just so, go. So this guy can fuck off. Yeah. Like real talk, though. <laughs> like real Ricky talk. Gervais said, collect your award and fuck off. And speaking <laughs> of fucking off, we'll be back after these messages. Yes, we will. Yes, we are back. Well, people, um, the big man, big match, John, big match, John, big match, John. Set the for six something. moves of doom. Yep, six moves. The lightning fist, fire the lightning fist. I like that move. <laughs> I don't know. I, if, the fucking, <laughs> hey, if the cobra can finish you, so can the lightning. Exactly fist. right. <laughs> hey, honestly, he's been set for a big match at WrestleMania 36. You think it's going to be his last one, or do you think it's... I don't think it's going to be his last one, because WWE tends to bring back old people, and he's not even really that old, no, considering the not. shape he's in. Um, but, okay, here's my question to you. Who would you like to see him face this WrestleMania and WrestleManias to come? Like, who's your next John Cena yeah. dream match? And who do you think he's going to face? Because who we want him to face and who he's actually going to face is probably going to be... Two different things, most likely, yeah, right? Real talk. So, um, like, I'll be honest, it is so hard because he has faced everybody that people were like, we'll never see that now. Like, he did the AJ Styles thing. Yeah. Oh, that's um, right. He did. He never, he never got to touch uh, Goldberg or Sting, but Sting got injured and he was 50 by the time he got there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there's certain eras that. They could intermingle. Kurt Angle is too done. Like, yeah, if, no, uh, Kurt, yeah. no. I, I would have loved to see. I would love to see the John Cena that fought like JBL go up against the John Cena or go up against the uh, Kurt Angle that was in TNA as the IWGP TNA uh, PPW pro yeah. all these championships. The man had like yeah. fifteen belts on him. Like you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, angle in his prime. Yeah, like I'd love to see that kind of, but you know what I mean. That's so. Not, uh, yeah. For right now, like he's faced he's faced Seth Rollins. They gave us whatever. Um, Cena versus Keith uh, Lee. Shinsuke. Keith Lee. Keith there Lee. you go. Somebody. That's funny. I didn't even think of and, Keith Lee, but and, Shinsuke would be dope because yeah. they could do strong, fucking strong style. Yeah. Because John Cena's down for oh, hard yeah. hits, he's right? Hard, he's down for hard. That hits. would be a dope match. Cena versus Strowman. Yeah. Would be dope yeah. too, but yeah, Keith Lee, Keith Lee, Keith Lee would Tommaso be Ciampa. dope. Yeah, Champa, like he's got Johnny be, Gargano. It's got to be That'd somebody. Be all right, it's got to be somebody because like what Cena needs to be right now is now he needs to. He be, needs a guy that puts guys over. He needs to be the WrestleMania attraction. Yeah, so. he needs to be the Undertaker. Yes, how where, the Undertaker was five years ago. Yeah. That's who Cena needs to be yeah, now. He needs to be minus he, the win streak because he needs to put guys over. Yes, so it's like you go into even if he wins, even if Cena still wins at WrestleMania, a lot of these matches sprinkle some losses in the here and there. But even if Cena, let's say Cena exactly. goes, let's say Cena goes over on Keith Lee, or whatever, or Keith Lee goes over on Cena. Neither one is going to look weak. Of course, Cena will not, make you look a strong in yeah. a loss. Yeah, he will. Yeah, because like, he's a hard seller, man. He sells. I, you look at Daniel he sells Bryan. Like a mo, you and, know? Okay, anybody who's ever touched Brock Lesnar really is has been just they're gone. Like, but recently, the recent Brock Lesnar now how, knows how to work with you and make you look strong in a loss. Yeah, Finn Balor, Daniel Bryan, Seth AJ Rollins. Styles, Seth Rollins. None of those guys look any weaker no, for they losing didn't look to weak Brock Lesnar, except so, for Kofi Kingston. Except that was for wild. Kofi Kingston, and they just yeah. dropped him. You know what I mean? But the whole thing is, is like he knows how to put you over now. Um, like, I'd love to see. John Cena go for Brock or Brock Lesnar's title one last time for revenge over the yeah, 16 that'd be sick. over the 16 oh, yeah. Cena versus Lesnar I would watch that again. Yeah. And, I would definitely watch Cena versus Lesnar yeah. again. And just and you know and and let that just happen. Um Cena's obviously not going to win. No, but of course not. Let him get his revenge for those 16 yeah, suplexes. For those, yeah, when he got fucking just 
annihilated. It was like. Hard to watch for a bit. It was like, like, damn, this guy's getting folded like a lawn chair (laughs) every 1.7 seconds. Yeah, literally. Like, he's getting mashed. Literally folded up. Like, Like I felt bad for him. I was like, damn, man, are you sure this is fake, bro? I don't think they choreographed this. I don't think they talked about it. That's why you do so much (laughs) neck exercises because... You right. landed on your head top. He's like, bro, times. bro, you better shut your neck because you're gonna land on it like 45 times. Protect your <laughs> neck in a row. In a row. <laughs> yeah, real talk. Like, and it's you're like, not gonna touch me once. Uh, but <laughs> that's how this is going. I don't know, but Cena, I like Cena. Here's the thing about Cena. I was listening to like this one little podcast, and Cena has this thing about. They they were talking about Cena how. Cena is what you see is literally what he really is. Yeah, 100%. The guy is a 100% straight shooter. Like, <laughs> just that's just who he is. Yeah, he has a past, but who doesn't, right? Yeah. Um, Which is why, though, it goes... Think get, w- like, it basically goes back to what we were talking about on Wednesday. Yeah. You take who you are and put it to 11, Yeah. and it can't fail. It can't. It can't because fail. if you got a personality like John Cena, like yeah. he's the Hogan of our generation, yeah. without the racism, without the racism, I'll suck him out of Hulk Hogan. He actually loves black people so long. For a little bit there, he thought he was black. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> he's not. Yeah. You I'm not black. <laughs> you, mean, you mean to tell me that was a white guy's album? Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me? Fuck, I had no idea. I couldn't see him the whole time. I, you know? I couldn't see him. <laughs> boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. No, but shout out to John Cena. Cena, man. He's one of the you best to ever do it. It doesn't and matter what anybody says. Five moves of doom, blah, blah, whatever he says. How many moves of doom did Hogan have? Exactly. Three. And it, it's called sports entertainment. It's, that's yeah. plain and simple. It says in the name, wrestling is about 30% of what you have to do to be an over wrestler. Yeah. John Cena was such an over wrestler. The guy's making movies right now, movies. blockbuster movies. He's on that you know? rock money. He's on that rock money right now. Scrooge Almost McDuckin. on that rock money. Yeah. yeah, the guys. Yeah, he's diving in Swimming. coins like Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuckin. You know what I mean? Like oh, real talk. Thing. So, yeah, you can hate on him all you want. Yeah, all people want to always slam John Cena, slam. but nah, man. But speaking of slamming, people, ho ho! I got some news here. Some slamming, some hot off the press. Some slamming to do. It's 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 a little warm because we had to start warm, a little yeah. late, but we got you, Tessa Blanchard, allegedly uses the N word and bullies people. So, this bitch, this bitch was in Japan, apparently in ba- in a backstage altercation with someone, and she spit in the face of a, I don't know if it was a black woman or just a black wrestler, but and then called her a. N- yeah, I'm sorry to say the word, but I did that. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, no. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, that doesn't fly with. It's, it's any- like, okay, so so she comes out with a tweet that says. It's not true, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to address this anymore. To me, when there's four, five, six people that come out and say, yeah, she's like this in the locker room. She bullies people. Yeah. Yes, this happened in Japan where she said you <laughs> and spit in her face. Okay? That happened. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you say this is, this is such bullshit. I'm not going to talk about it. That's the weak way out. Because obviously a situation happened. This girl's not going to go to an entire community and say this happened if it didn't happen at all. So you need to, if need the N word wasn't said you or something, something. something along those lines, you need to come out and say, yes, this is what happened. This is actually what happened. These are my accounts from the story. Yeah. And this is why I'm not guilty of racism. Or bullying. And when the other five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten girls that are coming out now saying, yeah, she's actually she's a total like this. bully. This is yeah. how she acts. We didn't say anything because we didn't want to be blackballed. See, and that's the problem. Because people start going off about, well, why didn't they say anything? Yeah. Because you know Real what? Tough. These are rising fucking stars yeah. that, you know what, for one reason or another, they can't say anything can't against say the top chick who's so fucking good that yeah. she's fighting against men. 
Yeah. So they can't say anything. It's World like saying champion. something about Triple H or Shawn Michaels or John Cena back in the day. You what happened to shit. somebody? What happened to somebody if you said something to John Cena? John Cena had so much power, he fucked a guy's girlfriend and the guy got fired. Yes, that's what Tell I'm me saying. that. Tell me that. So that's you're telling me these little indie guys who work for T and fucking A or yeah. wherever the fuck they were yep. are going to say something against the John Cena of TNA and she's no. a woman? You no. know what I mean? No. So don't give me that. Oh, they should have came out. No, they start coming out now because one woman finally finally had got the courage to say something. And the others were like, well, you know what? We're going to band together. And if we all say something, facts that happened. Might as well. You know? Then nothing's going to happen to us because they can't fire all of us. Real talk. You know? Like, and I'm sorry, Tessa Blanchard. You're awesome. She's one of the best women in the world at doing what she's doing. And the, she's got a couple of people yeah. coming to her aid and saying, no, this didn't happen. And, and but what, these yeah. girls are doing, are breaking down exact situations of what happened. And of if they didn't happen, situation. then you need to come and explain your side of that situation. Don't just say, I'm not addressing this. Because no. now you look like a fucking guilty like a biatch. fucking fool. Straight up. You look like a fool. Like and I'm sorry, fool. we live in a society now where you will, it doesn't matter how great you are. People were saying Don Cherry's a fucking legend. He didn't, he how said some, fuck? some, <laughs> some semi-racist shit. It wasn't even that racist, okay? Yeah. He's gone. He's been gone. on the TV show for 60 fucking Yo, years. He's gone. The same thing with the Flames coach here. He called the player of uh, the N-word. Yeah. He called him the N-word, not even uh, during this time with the Flames. God! And he's fired. He so it doesn't matter who you are. Thank God we're starting to live in a society where people don't have to put up with this before. Yeah. Because us of colored have our so, so much of our lives have just put yeah. up with it and said, it's okay, whatever, at least I have a job. Or it's okay, you know, whatever. No, he's just tough. joking. No, now yeah. we don't have to put up with that because if you start to degrade us like that, you will be fired. It doesn't matter who fired. the fuck you are. You're so I'm sorry, Tessa fired. Blanchard, if you really didn't say this, you really need to come out and make break an actual statement and break down what happened because yep. your I'm not addressing this isn't good enough for me and I represent the black community. And if you so have. fuck off yeah. with that shit and you can get you can get fired from TNA. You can go wrestle with Jussie fucking Smiles or whatever the fuck his name is. Yep. And you guys can go have your little whatever. I don't care. You, you know what I mean? Real oh, fun. I'm heated right now, nigga. I'm Hasht heated. Hashtag it pesos That's the third rant. N word I dropped. Hashtag pesos <laughs> rant. Hashtag pesos rant. You are welcome. People and he's here. <laughs> but all for week. real though, it's real talk. <laughs> it's that simple. It's and that I'm simple. glad we live in a society now. On the flip side of that, black people can't can't. Can't be like Jesse Smiles and say, oh, yeah. they did this because I'm black. And, oh, you know, that's that's yeah. playing the race yeah, card that doesn't attention. need to be played. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But when you're spitting in people's face and calling them derogatory statements, yes. you don't de you're not a person. And, and you don't deserve and you to be employed. You have to understand that there's things, in, like, in fuck this, off. there's things in this world now that people used to say <laughs> and that people say yeah. nowadays that ain't racist or that are racist and it wasn't back in the day but you got to understand now we can say something about exactly it. we don't have day, to hide you could jim Cornette could have said that shit all he wanted There's in 95 use the rest jim cornet you know what we're gonna talk about this shit for another bucket i don't know how long don't matter but we got we some done. time but you know we have instances in wrestling where racism has been, has been blatantly blatantly outright and it, it needs to stop um we have re we have races in wrestling per i mean it's, it's everywhere we can't stop it it's everywhere there's perverts there's races they, they, but yo we got to start finding a way to f i don't know man like, racism and wrestling is if you are racist and you want to wrestle shut the fuck up until you get home until you get How home about that exactly nobody because needs honestly, your opinion because because honestly it's been racist and it's 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 time those things change, and I'm glad it's starting to get like that. Because back in the day, characters like Kamala, Tonka, like GI Bro, GI yeah, Bro, uh, stuff like Yo that, Kazuna. Crime Time, Hakushi, you know, Yo things Kazuna. like that. Exactly, like, things like on. that are racist. They're insensitive, but back then, we it was like okay, well, whatever. You want this? Job we didn't or not? know as like, kids that basically Yokozuna is not even Japanese. Yeah, you know what I mean. But at the same He's time, it's like, do you, do you want this what job? Do you or, mean? Vince is like, you want this job or not? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know you're I mean? gonna eat sushi or not? Like, like what do you? You know what I mean? What are you gonna do? For real though. But that this is a long, this is a long list of something that's been a regular thing in 
in yeah. wrestling a whole, not just WWE, but think about it. We just got the first black champion in 2019. Yeah. Like you gave him And then he first... lost it in six seconds. Sorry, yeah. eight seconds. And they keep no, bringing it up. Kofi? And there's yeah. another thing of underlying racism. They just okay? keep bringing that up. The one black champion lost in eight seconds. He yeah. held it for six months, okay? Lots of people have lost to Lesnar in eight seconds. Yo, Sheamus kicked Daniel Bryan's head off and in he lost three in... seconds. Yeah. Like, you know, so the match was Why do they keep seconds. bringing that up? Was, yeah, Things like it. that, okay, maybe they're not doing it because of racism, because I honestly don't think WWE is racist. No, but then you still. get instances that are straight up racism. And I'm going to be honest, I love Booker, but sometimes. You can't defend him. He he wants to tell you want to tell me that the storyline between him and Triple H was not racist. It was one hundred percent. Nobody could tell me that. He the man said people like you don't win championships with your nappy yeah. hair. Blah blah blah. He said nappy hair. Yes, throwing it, we book a t- the, Remember the bathroom or, uh, the bathroom yeah. segment where he's like, oh here, and he's giving him change, tell him to get him a towel, shit like that. I fucking and then actually he gives him remember the fucking, feeling a type of way about that. And then he gives him the like, fucking pedigree. Yeah, he gives him the damn pedigree in the ring in WrestleMania. And then didn't cover him for 45 seconds for a one, two, three. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I just but... brought up Lacey Evans getting her Ed bus off a fucking thing. And, 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 and like, no. So basically you're like, saying Booker T's a coon sometimes. <laughs> he, he does some coonery. <laughs> that's coonery. There's some coonery that's, there. That's grade A coonery. There's Straight coonery. Up, it is. And I but yo, the most racist chat. fucking character I just remembered, Virgil, bro. Yes. How racist was Another that? One. And the then guy's million walking dollar around man. with a slave. The million dollar man did that <laughs> right, segment. The million dollar man yeah. right, walking around with some black slave. Yeah. <laughs> How fucking and then he did that. that. Then he did the segment with the little black kid, and says, "Hey, you bounce this ball fifteen times, I'll give you five hundred dollars." And he kicks it out at fourteen. Oh wow! Well, and it's, oh, like, that's some, and it's that's like some Donald Trump shit. <laughs> <laughs> but real talk, it's Get like you. you guys and your little underlying digs at yeah, people's uh... races and their cultures and their. Why does every Japanese person have to be so Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I can see it. They don't have to. Call. I, I love the crazy Asuka, and I think. This yeah, is, that's dope. I think that's, this is her. That's I don't think this booking, is Vince. Yeah. I, think I don't this think that's Vince. This is her, more Kana, who she was. Oh, in, yeah, it's in too the fucking good to be Vince's eyes. Yeah, so I really believe in my heart of all hearts that this is Asuka. But then you get, like, like I said, GI Bro. Booker yeah. T's first fucking um, gimmick when he yeah, came. That's pretty. Funny. Like those gimmicks. Like you brought up Tatanka. Who else did I bring? Like Papa Shango. Like Papa why? Because he's black. Kamala. He, he knows fucking voodoo. African guy fucking bumping his crime belly, time, you know, slapping his belly. Crime time was like I, I honestly couldn't believe when crime time came out. I was like probably like twenty years old, or something like that, right? So I was like oh. basically. Like, on that shit, you know? Like, yeah. black power, blah, blah, blah shit, right? Yeah. And I'm like, are they allowed to... They, yeah. this, is, this is rather racist. Yeah. Why is it the two black guys robbing the convenience exactly. store? And you know how... You know what I mean? Like, and, and why is know, it gotta be the two black guys yeah. robbing and the convenience store? And you know how funny there? it is that they know exactly how to represent regular black culture and extreme black culture yeah. and whatever regular there is japanese between. culture they know extreme, how they do the man, nation of domination all... shows that they can do the extreme the other you know way, what yeah. i'm saying and 100%. then you, and then you get guys like uh, who should i say just is our truth who's just a dude yeah, likes to have fun a dude, yeah. you know what i mean they know how to capture both sides so why do they got to just go to some coonery all the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, funny. I just don't get it. And, and don't give me this. Oh, I've been saying this. You're 74 years old, Vince. Yeah, You've been no, around. Yeah. You know, what it, you know what it is? Like, Trust me. You think it's funny still. You think it's funny. Yeah, and it's not. Like, it's dry. But but, but with, with, that side, with that side, WWE has gotten much better. Much better Like we it. said, I they got their first black them. champion. A lot of the guys that are... That are in the top scene that yeah. are on TV every week are of yeah, color. Of color, right? So and, which which and is and in WWE's defense, I'm going to speak on both sides. I'm going to speak on WWE's behalf and thank them for representing us exactly. at the same time, exactly. a lot better than exactly. they used to. Than they used to, hands and down. Like, props. Thank and you. And we do defend you against guys like Jesse Smollett. Or Jesse, yeah, George exactly. Mullet, yeah, Jesse George, Miles, George whatever. The, Miles or whatever the, see, name see how fucked up in my community, in our in the wrestling black community right now, a lot of us, 
I can't speak for every single one of us, but we don't tell the difference. Yeah. They're the exactly. same brother to us. Exactly. You know what I mean? Jesse and Jordan. Jesse and Jordan. Like, same people. Because they they are making shit up. He wants to be up. ACH again, but he can't yeah. now. Like, yeah. Like, ACH was honestly, cool. Yeah, man. I he, liked ACH. Yeah, he was dope. But no, he Jordan Miles, I don't like he so He seriously much. took that way too and far. It's like, and it's like, you yeah. set You set them up knowing that oh, yeah. there was this tension with the Kofi situation there exactly. was things coming out now and oh, then yeah, it was definitely predetermined yeah. it was definitely planned he definitely trying to to uh basically gain momentum yeah. gain whatever he was trying to like yeah. gain at the time he tried to do that off the black card and here in the black wrestling community at least in this tag team Fucking yeah. he over here. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah. We don't do that. And I speak to other black wrestling fans that are like, yeah, that's bullshit. Even guys that didn't know about it, and I had to like break the story down. Exactly. They're like, yeah, yeah, he he approved it, and then now he's just, and then he's he's like, backtracking because what happened is he probably told one of his boys, showed him like, look at my new shirt. Yeah, and they're like. Basically clicked on it's like black like yo bro that looks like some yeah cool that, like bro, you know I'm telling you that's exactly right what, and it looks maybe like we, blackface and he's like oh yeah. shit now maybe, what do I do maybe we can get some paper maybe we can get some paper maybe we can get this. some paper or like, basically come on now man. go over with this or trying to what whatever it was he was trying to do you that's know what I mean but, you, that's not how you get over basically thank God that we live in a society right now where it's like if you do stuff like Tessa yeah. Blanchard is. Based, accused of, of doing, doing because you don't know for sure, but yeah. I'm sh- you know I'm sure five six people ain't lying. Well, somebody's but seen whatever. it. So somebody's unless it. unless Sienna is just heard it through the grapevine, Sienna, if you have seen it, Sienna Chelsea Green said she's seen it too. Yeah. And, uh, and like I mean, what's her name? Big Swole is yeah. come out for come forward. Well, we need so we it's need, like you need to defend yourself. You yeah, that's that's the bottom You can't walk line. into court and say, hey, you know what? Um, not true, and that's all I'm gonna say. Exactly, on it, and I'm going home. If judge. you didn't say any, you can't do that. If you didn't say any of this, and you're the person you yeah. say you are, and you have the integrity that you say you do, yeah. then you will come out with a proper and now, statement, and you will address these yes. allegations. And now if you're not, in court. I don't want to see you wrestle. I don't want to see you on TV. I don't want to see you become the first ever, yeah. basically heavyweight champion. Exactly. So you know what? With that being said. Fuck you, Tessa, till you say something. Fuck racism. Let's go. Exactly. So Catch here we go. Catch us on our Just, social media. Yeah, hit us up on Just Two Jobbers and on Instagram at Just Two Jobbers, Facebook forward slash Just Two Jobbers, as well as Twitter uh, at Just Two Jobbers. And my Instagram at Jeremy Hendrix, 3X's. Chill.